Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is the wonderful Dr. Andy Barlow and of course his second number one new release on Amazon, Highway To Health, The Road To Overcoming Depression, Anxiety, Insomnia and Chronic Pain Through The Gut Brain Connection. I think this is an incredible conversation to have. Yeah. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Troy. Yet again, congratulations on your brand new second book. Thank you so much. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about brain function. I think it's an incredible thing what our body does right. for us, for mm -hmm. health and wellness. Yes. Okay. But I want to start off with what does depression happen in the brain? Whereabouts? Okay. Well, and how does that all start? Okay. Well, w one of the, uh, from a functional, from a neurology standpoint, depression is actually a frontal lobe dysfunction. So what happens is the frontal lobe, your, the front part of your brain here, yes. it starts to slow down. And when our brain slows down, what can, what can cause dysfunction is inflammation blood sugar dysregulation, autoimmune disorders. Ooh. So see, when we have these, these uh, just like for example, inflammation, it starts to slow our brain function down. And in the process of that, we start to lose focus and attention and concentration. And that, those are the first things that happen. And then as the frontal lobe starts to decrease in its function even more, then we end up with depression and in actually chronic pain syndromes as well. So depression, I'm, I'm going off script here for a little bit because okay. something you just said, um, depression can, I don't want to say 100% be caused by diet. Yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, it could be. I, now, like, for example, I do have, unfortunately, some patients that they've had uh, members of their family that's passed away. Yes. Now, that can lead to depression. Okay. Right. But what and that's happens, why I said it's not totally. Right. So what happens when a person, for no unknown reason, uh, has depression? So, one of, again, so what can happen is inflammation has an insult to the frontal lobe. Really? Uh, blood sugar, like someone that's type 2 diabetic, that can insult the brain and cause inflammation. Uh, also, something as simple as constantly consuming processed foods, you know, fast foods, yeah. because these uh, release a cascade of inflammatory responses into the body and into our brain, and any type of inflammation will slow down the conduction of this neurological transmission. And then slowing that down is going to cause our frontal lobe to decrease in its function, leading to focus and attention and concentration, and again, eventually depression. I want to ask you this question. It's quite interesting. How does a person's blood sugar and inflammation play a role in insomnia? Okay, in insomnia, okay. So what happens with insomnia, typically, <clears throat> excuse me, our brain starts to become over aroused, okay? And we actually have what's called neural feedback in our clinic, and we do a brain map on a person. And I don't mean to get too technical, but there's- But I a, like that. <laughs> there's, a, there's a brain wave that's called beta wave. And when your beta wave is too high functioning, you actually can't shut your brain off. And again, uh, blood sugar dysregulation and inflammation actually trigger uh, the brain to malfunction in an abnormal way and then we turn our brain on and it's difficult to turn it off. So we're sitting in bed kind of, if you will, counting the sheep or twirling our thumbs going, I wish I could go to sleep but I can't turn my brain off. What do you say to people who can't turn their brain off? Okay. What well, are you saying to them at home to do? Well, one of the things that we could do is uh, meditation is a yeah. good one. In my book, I talk about deep breathing exercises, uh, listening to uh, nature sounds, like just putting a headphone on, stepping away from social media, stepping away mm. from your computer, and just you know, stay in your recliner, turn off the TV, turn off social media, put on the headphone, maybe listen to uh, nature sounds, and calm down. You always make me calm. <laughs> you do. Thank you, you give such great information. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. If you, you want talk, to find Troy. out more information, there it all is up on the screen. If you want to purchase the book, of course, go over to highwaytohealthbook.com. And I've been chatting away with Dr. Andy Barlow from Chiropractic Physician Center of Tupelo, all about his brand new book, Highway to Health. Back after this short break.